Sterling, first of all, love all your content. Please keep up the great work. I purchased How I Grew My Penis, Sexual Dominance Escalation, Preventing Premature Ejaculation, How to Seal the Deal, Ultimate Gun Performance Guide. I'm currently working on incorporating your techniques and pieces of advice into my daily routine and sex life. Furthermore, I purchased your fire supplement and I'm excited to see what it holds. My question for you. I'm Udisex, one lay, current girlfriend, about four rounds total. I think I've done a relatively good job in implementing the physical techniques, i.e. like choking, throwing on the bed, pinning hands, etc. from the start. However, one thing I've noticed is that I'm awful at thrusting fast. I've noticed this in... I've noticed this is position dependent, yep, but in general I'm much slower compared to your speed in SDE. This obviously makes sense when you compare my total sexual experience to yours, okay. I'm looking to improve my speed when thrusting. I understand it's not all about speed per se, that's correct, it's not all about speed, it depends upon the position and what's going on. Uh, and there are times when slow and powerful thrusts leave more of an impression, correct. I'm simply trying to add the faster thrust tool to my arsenal, cool. How do you recommend I go about improving thrusting speed? Very, this is easy. Uh, I understand there could be many physical factors regarding sexual performance capacity uh, capability. I'll leave you some objective stats about me for context. Um, age, height, weight, body fat percentage, that doesn't really matter. Diet, athletics. Uh, athletics, physical experience. I've played a sport that demands a lot of hip mobility at the Olympic level for a handful of years, and now I'm currently competing. I've been training, weightlifting, Olympic lifts. I saw your video regarding kettlebell swings, they list for more thrusting power, I wanted to see if I could... And I wanted to see what I could do with kettlebells. 15, 50, I did about 45 reps with 35 kilo kettlebell for reference. Cool, that's it. That was what I was going to recommend. Like, look, basically I got all my, all my, all my hip thrusting power. Uh, it came from a, a few things, to be honest. Okay, so when I was younger, I did lots of box jumps. That's like explosive... Anything that was just basically mimicking the hip movement, right? So I did as I did lots of box jumps, uh, and then as I got into my kind of mid twenties, I did lots of heavy deadlifts and high rep um, two handed kettlebell swings. Uh, not American kettlebell swings where you go all the way up. I did Russian ones where you go out to here, you stop here, and it focuses focuses more on that hip thrust and like kind of the ryth the rhythmic hip thrust of it. Um, I would do reps of like, I was doing lighter weights, but higher reps. So I would do, I think if I recall, I was doing like 24 kilos. It was like two pud. I think that's 24 kilos and uh, about 70 reps. So I would suggest you would lower. So with like stick with the high, stick with heavy deadlifts, right? For like the, str the, the that strength component. But then when it comes to the kettlebell swings, drop the weight and double the reps. So you're going to get used to, it's, which is kind of what you're doing. You're getting, you're getting, getting used to that, that movement and getting the rhythm of it will actually help and improve your speed. That and things like, um, and things like box jumps, I think, will also help because it's all it's all about explosive power and speed with the hip thrust and and getting back into position. That's why the kettlebells are good because you, you get it out there and you bring it back, and you get it out there and you bring it back. The best, the best cue. In case you haven't been given this cue by your trainer or your coach, the best cue I ever, I was ever given for how to execute a kettlebell, a two-handed kettlebell swing properly, like on the way back. Um, like the forward part's easy. It's like you know, the, the, the bell will end up straight out there. Don't have the bell dangling here when you get to this position. The bell should be straight, like it's come through on your hand. Um, I hope that makes sense visually. That's the easy part, you're standing up straight, your butt's clenched and whatever. But on the back swing, the bell should be behind your balls and you're, imagine you're closing a, this is the, what the cue my coach gave me. Imagine you're closing a car door with your ass. Bang. That, that sit, that kind of sit back motion, that's the backwards part. And that's just as important as the, the forward thrusting part. So getting that, getting that, uh, that speed with the movement. Don't do the kettlebell. Don't do the kettlebell swings like you're trying to get them done as fast as possible. But just focus on executing that that forwards and backwards momentum as as well as perfectly as you can. I think that will really really help you. That and box jumps. I think those two things will really help with your explosive power and allow your body to get used to like hip thrusting for a long time uh, and and hip thrusting at speed and with with a bit of with a bit more power. Uh, well, a bit well. 
let's just say with more speed, because you can you can hit thrust with power, and it's like slow and grindy, which we talked about before, which is fine, which is good. And they're, they're like using both, and you're right. You, you just want to have more tools in your toolbox. So I get what you're saying. You're, you've got the correct approach. But I personally, I recommend things like yeah, two-handed kettlebell swings. Um, also sprints. Sprints do the same. Sprints are also good for that too. Like I used to, we used to do. I used to play basketball, so we used to do lots of. Um, uh, like yeah, just court sprints, basically like up and down, up and backs. So like, sprint the length of a basketball court, and stop and sprint back again. <laughs> do do rounds of like do rounds of ten to twenty of those, you know, like ten like up and backs. Like we do probably do like five up and backs. But like actually, no, we used to do, you, you do ladders. You do ladders. You do like you do one up and back, then two, and then three, and then you do two, and then you do one, and then that's like that's one set, right? So you can do like sprints like that. Or just or uphill sprints. All of these things are executing like the same kind of musculature um, in a very practical way, um, which is just using your body. Whereas things like, and I'm not not shitting on like heavy lifts and classical like uh, weight lifting and, and, and power lifting and stuff, but things like kettlebell swings, sprints, box jumps are you using your own body, right? Versus just picking up a heavy piece of metal in this sort of artificial movement. So that will, I'm, I'm certain that this will help you. So good luck.